I only love you when it's half-assed. I don't know why that song's in my head. How does it feel out here tonight? It feels great. The air is like crisp. It has a little bit of a chill. I thought I really was going to hate winter, but I really don't. Um, I guess because this winter is not crucial. It's like, it's a mild winter. It's a doable winter. It's enough winter for you to be able to bust out winter clothes, but not be like dying of freezeology, <laughs> freezingness, you know? So this is great. More news. Just received another email from the other company, <laughs> again, for me to call them. So something is up. It's probably with the background and all that, but, you know, it is what it is. I tell them what it is. And, you know, if they're willing to allow me to work to get the information for them, I will. If not, then, you know, I still need to get it for my own records. So, but it's very supportive and encouraging to know that people even want you to get the information. So, I'm thankful for that. Um, sing love. <laughs> Walking past the car dealership, they're playing everlasting love. They're playing some song. I like the music they play. I'm gonna tell you like what it reminds me of. I love it. It's quiet out here, and I guess like if that person was chilling out here, it's not a bad place to chill. You got music, you know. And um, I don't know. It's cool. I like the music. That's the thing with the storage place too. The music. You know, so it's like you had a radio. It's cool. Da, da, da. I don't know. I'm happy, you guys. I'm so thankful. So thankful, thankful, thankful for, for everything. Thankful. Life, I mean, life is so beautiful. I mean, for those of y'all, it's late at night. It's like 11, probably. But if you had a chance, and that's what I'm saying, if I wasn't outside walking around at 11 o'clock at night, I couldn't really appreciate the cornflower blue, midnight blue sky with the gray periwinkle looking clouds. And y'all can't see it because my camera is not that great. But it's just beautiful, you know? And it reminds me of when I was little, when we first moved to the States, my Uncle George, um, he bought me this clock. And it was like a house, and you turned it down and played music, and it showed like day and time to night time, and the sky looks just like on the clock, and it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Life is beautiful, you guys. This tree looks orange in this light. It's not orange, I'm sure, but it looks exactly orange. <laughs> it looks really... Ah! Okay, it's a bird. <laughs> That's so funny. It's a lake. And I don't know, I must have woke the bird up. They're sleeping over in the corner. <laughs> and I heard a squawk and I was like, what is that noise? I thought it was coming from the tree. It scared me. I don't know if y'all could have heard the noise, but it was there. Mm. Oh, life is good. It's nothing. It's a very, something very refreshing. You know, about walking at night, there's a police car in a parking lot. <laughs> shout out um yeah but it's something besides that it's something really refreshing and it's scary that he has like a red light on in the inside i would not be turning the camera that way <laughs> but uh yeah but it's something really refreshing about you know walking at night you know peaceful um everything's slowed down it's different it's almost like the darkness is almost like being in a comforter it's it's just nice i mean I really enjoy it, <laughs> and I'm thankful for the opportunity to, you know, be out at night, you know, have a place to go to come back, and it'd be night, you know. Life is good, really. Everlasting love. Do 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 do. Everlasting love. Tomorrow I'm going to have for lunch pot pies and smoothies tomorrow for lunch. Well, I guess it would be dinner. Um, for brunch tomorrow, I will be having rice and kimchi with um, sesame seed oil 
stir fried rice and sesame seed oil and soy sauce. The kimchi is what I'll be having for lunch. Um, I guess it's not really stir fried, but it's steamed. It's steamed rice. It's gonna be good. I don't know how I'm gonna live without. There's not gonna be any meat, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. And I need to find a recipe for lentils. That would be pretty interesting. I have hot dogs, though. I guess I should take the hot dogs out tonight because they're frozen. But I don't want to use up all the hot dogs. So <laughs> I said I'm scrimping scrim on hot dogs. Um, hmm. Um, Can I survive without the meat? I think I can because for dinner I will be having um, pot pie that has meat in it. I've been craving a steak for the longest. <laughs> a nice big fat juicy steak. But that's the ways off, my friends. That's the ways off. So almost there. See, I like walking from this side. This side there's not like it's not, you can feel like badness <laughs> when I walk the other way, but this way, it's more peaceful. You know, calm. Calm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's beautiful. I wish y'all could see what I can see. Another police car. They always scare me. Like when they come around the corner speeding like that, I always. It's weird, like, it feels like they're doing a drive-by, <laughs> like, they can just pull out a gun. And so I, it just, I guess, you know, the way people are foreseeing the future, that probably isn't far from the truth, but this it scares me, it's scary to me. Um, but anyways. I love my life. 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 <laughs> I love my life. Oh, okay. I love my life. I'm kind of scared across the street because there's a car. He's just stopping for the red light. <laughs> but I'm always scared of like cars, like in the um in the cut. So okay. I'm good. 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 Good, good, good. Gotta hurry up. These lights, they go by so fast. They're not made for um, pedestrians, seriously. Like, oh my gosh. Like, the other day I was crossing the street and there's a light that is there and it changed, like, for the bus. Because I guess it had a sensor where the bus was there. But it's like, as soon as the bus crossed the other thing, it didn't even do the countdown 20 seconds. It just said green. And then the bus turned the corner and as soon as the bus hit the other side the light turned red i was like dog it wasn't even made at all for a pedestrian they're just hoping somebody get hit out there i'm like wow you don't have enough time to cross the street and i'm fairly young and fairly healthy so if you are disabled or something you definitely there's no way for you to get across the street you got to depend on the kindness of other people to make sure you don't get hit true story Everlasting love. I'm walking past these, past these abandoned houses. And every time I walk past, I feel like I need to look in it. But I need to stop because one day I'm going to look. And somebody's going to be in there and look back. And I'll be like spooked for good. So I need to stop looking over there. But, you know, you feel energy and vibe. I don't feel nothing like that right now from that place. So... Almost there, you guys. And this is a nice walk so far. And then I also think, like, when I walk past here, this interstate thing, there's, like, a little cubby. Like, when I walk on the other side, that if you're not paying attention, you know, somebody could jump out. <laughs> I wonder how Stephen Killing did it, though. How do you write all those horror stories and all those creepy things without, like, without it affecting you? Because... In order to create thoughts like that, you, that's it's just out there. You know, it's cool to read and it scares you a little bit, but to sit and actually create those thoughts, whoa. And I always think every time I see these, this, they're shot people with the fire going, 
<laughs> they were like setting runaways on fire or something. But I guess it's not uncommon because when I was walking yesterday, somebody else had a fire going in their front yard. I didn't know that you could do that. I thought it was illegal to have like an open fire like like that. But the police drive by all the time, don't say anything. But then again, people sell bootleg DVDs in front of the grocery store and inside a flea market. So, yeah. There's a lot of traffic coming right now. Well, only 10 minutes? Wow, I thought it was longer than that. I can't wait till this last car go. I'm going to end this way because he's trying to cross onto the, the whatchamajig. So, alright, so. And see, I can run across the street over here without some <laughs> somebody yelling at me, no cura, no cura. You know, and pausing to watch me and stuff, so. See, that's what I like. You can just peaceful, just walk. And I didn't look in the cut. I've long passed the cut, so. How did you know? Cause I never told. You found out I got a crush on you. No more charade. And also when I left, um, I set the thing to auto upload a couple of videos. But when I looked, it was uploading like 10 videos. I'm like, oh my lord. Because there was one of them that I didn't want to be uploaded because, not because I'm censoring anything, but YouTube does. And I think there was some brief nudity or something in it. And I think that, I hope it didn't, but it may have uploaded it again. <laughs> so I need to double check. Um, because I noticed an un, um, <laughs> an unusually high number of views on a video. And usually when that happens, it's because there was a slip that I didn't catch or something. So I'm almost there. Almost, almost there. Almost there. Oh, my gosh. Almost there. I had a call from this woman. Oh, my gosh. I'm in the mood for eggs tonight, like fried rice with eggs. That's what I'm in the mood for. But I don't have any eggs. I haven't bought eggs in a while. But I don't need to be eating this late at night anyway. I don't have any snack foods, which is just great, really. No snacks for me. In order, if I was to get something to eat, the closest to a snack I could get is probably ramen noodles. And I don't want any more pasta because I've been eating pasta for the past few days. All right, so I guess I got to end this. I only got like two minutes left. What can I talk about in two minutes? Nothing. I'm just enjoying the atmosphere. I wish y'all could see the atmosphere. It's actually really nice. I saw the mystery. When I walked past this, it's like this big field. And every now and then I saw like furniture and stuff at the curb. And there's a mailbox. I'm like, there's no house there. But there is. There's like bushes all the way in the back. And there's bushes in front of it. Which is pretty cool, but... I mean, if you got stuff sitting out there, like recycling bins, people might think that, you know, somebody just dumped it there. And what if somebody steals your recycling bin inadvertently? Okay, I think my time is up. No, I still have a minute. Time is going by really slow. And this is gorgeous. The lake. Y'all can't really see it because it's dark. But it's really gorgeous at night. It's beautiful. The reflection of the lights and the water. Part of good stuff. I know what's gonna happen if so I wanna be I wonder what people are doing, like what they're burning out here. I don't know, I've never I haven't seen that in a while. I mean not in the country. I wonder what people are burning. I wanna ask. Maybe they're cooking something. It's like now there's another garbage can. It's a metal one and it's like smoke is just coming out of it slow. It's weird. At least it doesn't stink. Well, I had thirty seconds. <laughs> I need to get out of the street because people are driving crazy. Anyway, so I'm done, I guess. Bye.